by Water's Edge, a battle royale ignites. In Northern Australia, saltwater crocodiles are king. The continent's largest land-based predators, they've come across a large feral pig by the shore. An easy meal, it would appear, but with multiple crocs in the kitchen, tempers flare. Okay, before we dive into the mechanics of how these gnarly bees tend to feast, let's scale things back a bit. Crocodile fossils have been found that date back 200 million years. These dudes predate the dinosaurs and have outlived them by millions of years. And it wasn't by accident. Salties are hyper carnivores. That means they kill a lot. They'll eat just about any animal they can catch and overpower, including fish, birds, even humans. But there's more to them than just chowing down. We'd like to introduce you to our friend, Ted. The dominant male of the area is also somewhere around 100 years old, and it shows. Check out those battle scars. Those deformities, they're a result of a lifetime of fighting. He's blind and has lost all his teeth. That happens, crocs lose teeth constantly. And they can grow new ones up to 45 times. But at this stage of the game, Ted's officially toothless. It's all good, he can still eat. Crocs swallow their prey whole, but his reign on top is nearing its end. Meet Boris. Boris is a big guy measuring over 15 feet long and weighing over 1,500 pounds. He's got a big appetite. It's an ideal time for him to go to work. He gets into position along the riverbank to watch for anything that comes within striking distance. Sweeps of that powerful tail propel him silently through the water. His short limbs with clawed, webbed feet are ideal for swimming. His eyes, ears, and nostrils are located on top of his head, allowing him to lie low while keeping an eye on his prey. The eyes of a ninja. Beyond that, Boris has sensory pits along his entire body which pick up vibrations. From across the way, he senses even the slightest movement. Diving down, he slithers over. When Boris is underwater, those bumpy scales he wears create a low pressure system around him resulting in a countercurrent around his body. The water's surface will not ripple as he glides through the deep. He is invisible. Aqua Ninja. Oh, what's this? An unsuspecting wallaby has come to the water to drink, completely unaware of the danger that approaches. A crocodile can lunge incredibly fast. Salties pack arguably the strongest bite force in the world, so this may actually be the worst spot to find yourself in. Forrest can put down almost a quarter of his own weight in one sitting. How? Well, he can secrete gastric acid faster than any other animal, liquefying bone matter in just a few hours. The one thing he can't digest is keratin, so he'll cough up the fur later. Even crocs get hairballs. Crocodiles are prehistoric marvels. They've made it this far. And now, you know why. Jaguar versus Cayman. Fight! <laughs> These two predators are battling to the death. Who will emerge victorious? In the heart of Brazil, the world's largest tropical wetland is known as the Pantanal. These 81,000 square miles are home to a wild variety of creatures. Some cute, and some... not so cute. Close relatives of the alligator, caimans are aplenty in these parts. During the dry season, 
An estimated 5 to 10 million Jakari Caymans crowd the riverbanks. It actually might be the largest population of crocodilians on Earth. Male caimans can grow to 8 feet long and weigh 130 pounds. But to be king of the swamp, they've got competition. From the third largest cat in the world, roughly 100 jaguars roam the Pantanal. With such thick coverage, this dense rainforest is an ambush predator's dream. Oh, and one more thing. Jaguars are superb swimmers. This young male could grow to weigh more than 200 pounds. To rule this land, a kid's meal won't cut it. Enter the Cayman. Tangling with such a foe could spell doom for the cat. And yet, hunger outweighs his concern. The time to strike is now. Let's rumble. An experienced jaguar would unleash a deadly bite to the brain. But the rookie is struggling to maintain a firm grip. Desperate to escape, the caiman tries to roll over. But the jaguar's powerful jaw clamps down on the reptile's throat. The caiman does have one advantage. He can hold his breath underwater for an hour. If he can stay afloat and alive just long enough, he might be able to surprise the jaguar with another roll. It's now a contest of pure strength and stamina. Both animals are exhausted, but surrender is not an option. The stress of the tussle takes its toll, and the caiman's body goes limp. With water in the lungs, it's all over. Well, almost over. The jaguar still has to haul that carcass out of the river. But here we go. And, ah, made it. And there you have it. In a land loaded with armored reptiles, this ferocious feline reigns supreme.